Hey, <coughs> guys, welcome back to Let's Read Higurashi. Dude, I really need to fix my recording schedule. I haven't been recording enough videos, so I'm literally recording this the day of again at like 9 a.m. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll try to fix it by tomorrow and try to record more so I don't have to wait up early for this. Um, but yeah, either way, I'm still pretty excited to see what's gonna happen. Last chapter, we know that something's bit's gonna happen. I think Rita's gonna die, or she's gonna be found dead, or just missing. But it might be interesting if she isn't, though I think they were kind of building that up. Even if, uh, Uishi sends police over. Though that might stop it, to be honest. But... Yeah, let's just continue and see what happens in chapter 9. After hanging up on Xi'an, I searched for Rita Chan's phone number on my store contact list. Oh, I thought we were just trying to skip to next day. So maybe Rita will live if we can get her on the phone. There it is. My fingers trembled with urgency and I failed multiple times to put in the simple five-digit number. What the? Hi, Mom. I shouted angrily at my mother listening to the dial tone. Pick up, come on, pick up, pick up. Rita? The time was 11 p.m. Uh oh. Well, this would set an alibi or set a time either way. If she pits, even if she fits up and she goes missing tomorrow, we'll know that she was here at 11 p.m. Also, she's like 10, right? 10 year olds are probably asleep by now. I don't know who else lives with uh, Rika in the temple, right? Everyone only talked about it, but I'm assuming she does live with someone and not just alone in the temple. It certainly wasn't early. It was essentially the middle of the night. Had Rikichan already gone to bed? Her phone would be ringing constantly though, so would she get back up for me? Rikichan didn't pick up. She didn't pick up. She didn't pick up. Maybe she just happened to miss it. Maybe her bed was just too far away from the phone. The sound of a phone ringing gets clearer and clearer the longer you go on sleeping. Then. The bathroom? Yeah, she must be taking a bath. If that was the case, then even if she heard the phone, she wouldn't be able to pick it up. It was a little late to be taking a bath, but it was possible she normally took baths right before going to bed. I'll wait 30 minutes and try calling again. Yeah, I, I guess it doesn't mean she's gone. I mean, I still think she could be sleeping. <laughs> Maybe she's a deep sleeper. Even as I was thinking that, I called her house over and over again. I kept calling. Over and over. Again and again. I kept calling on... Calling. I kept on calling her, but... She didn't pick up even once. I think they kept trying for about 30 minutes. And she wasn't picking up. Were my phone calls so persistent that she had gotten scared of picking up the receiver? No, that couldn't possibly be it. There's no point in doing this any longer. The best thing to do would be go there in person. Where was Rita Chen's house though? She... I never even asked her where she lived. Her residence was written there in the contact list, but it was an address with mostly numbers, so I couldn't tell where it was just by reading it. Isn't there a map or something in here? Rita Furude. Her last name was Furude. It was a bit of an odd last name, so it might be easy to find. Thinking that, I rummaged around the drawer with the phone book, but could only find things like takeout menus and phone numbers for public establishments. Shit, shit, shit. I turned one thing after another out of the drawer, but I didn't come up with any clues as to where Rita Chen's house was. Unlucky. No doodle. <laughs> Calm down, Keiichi Maivara. If you don't know, then just ask. As someone who does know. Please don't ask me, Yon. Oh, Rena. Yes, Rena's. 
Or actually, Satoto would be the best choice, but she's probably asleep too. I looked up Rena's phone number on the contact list. Rena Ryugu. <coughs> there she was. She picked up right away. Oh no. Hey, she has parents. We've never heard of them before, so. That's a good confirmation. I kind of had the suspicion that she was living alone, but. Because we never, even when Keiji visited her house, he didn't really mention the parents. And he has a voice actor. It was a, I mean, I guess everyone has a voice actor. <laughs> it was the voice of a grumpy sounding man. It must have been Rena's father. I am calling in the middle of the night. I need to be polite. That sounds serious. <laughs> Reina. Reina. Always calling her her real name. Yeah, it's, I don't know how she feels about that. <laughs> Alright, Reina Ryugu was her real name, wasn't it? Gotten so used to calling her Rena that hearing her real name caught me a little off guard. <laughs> it's kind of funny, huh? So Rena is still uses Rena even in her house when she was talking on the phone, which is kind of interesting. I wonder how that affects Rena. Her parents still calling her Rena. Rena seemed a little appalled that I called her for something like that at this hour. However, she spoke her next words seriously, as if she caught on how urgent my need was. She lives in a storage shack? Does she not live with anyone? I can't immediately visualize the place, but as long as I knew she lived on the shrine grounds, I just have to take a look around. When I asked in an unusually sharp way, halting me before I could hang up the phone, I hesitated for a moment about whether to tell her. He was too because I told him. Rena affected her usual tone, but beneath her words lay a certain tension that she intuit intuitively sensed something was going on. <coughs> what will you do, Teichi? It's Rena. Can't I tell her? He was killed because he found out. I revealed everything, so he was killed. <laughs> Rena asked me once again, in a tone so forceful I couldn't imagine her ever using it normally. I was taken aback by her vigor. Rena was Rita Chan's friend too. She had the right to be concerned about Rita Chan disappearing. If I told Rena then, even for a moment, I could drive away my horror. <clears throat> I could drive away my horrifying fears. Rena's tone was seriousness itself. Just from that tone, I could feel her saying, No matter what you say, Chi Chi, I'll believe you. That subtle sense of security gave me the courage to reveal the truth. Rika chan ga. Abunai ki ga suru nda. Sore wa. Mushi no shirase kana. Sore tomo. Rika chan ni kikien ga semate iru. Nani ka kakushin ga aru. Tell her the full story. I don't know. I don't trust Rena, but you can't ignore the fact that she was basically working with Beyond at the end of the last one, so I don't really want to tell her the full thing. I really didn't have time to go back and forth with Rena about this. Still, I think listening to her calm voice soothed my pointless impatience. Yet I still hesitated. I had told Rita Chan where that we had snuck into the ritual storehouse. 
The mayor, to whom Xion had confessed before that, had already disappeared, so it was possible that Rita Chan also. I didn't know how to explain it to Rena. While I was tongue tied, Rena spoke up. Rena laughed a little, seeming a bit absent minded. I wasn't exactly in the mood to laugh, so this time I was dumbfounded. Rena continued in a cheerful yet purposeful voice. Rena, thank you. じゃあ、まずは圭一君に確認するね。リカちゃんの家に電話はしたんだよね。それでどうしても繋がらないから家の場所を聞いてきたんだね。ああ。10分以上は鳴らし続けたと思う。一緒としたら気づかなくて寝
it seems like they shouldn't do it, especially if he didn't really do anything wrong. He was just told it second handedly. I think that's a bad assumption. That's what Rena said before hurriedly hanging out. Okay. Now isn't the time to be doubting Mion. I need you to make sure Rita Chan was safe. So we're bringing Mion. That's interesting. I don't hate it though. It's not a bad idea. I thought change and grab the key from my bike. Again, I don't think the Sonazakis would even attack uh, the Furudes, right? It seems like even more important than the mayor. It'd be weird anyways. I figured things would go more smoothly if we met up in the place we usually do before school. Rana wouldn't need to come all the way to my house. My parents would probably have objected if I told them I was leaving, so I creeped out without a word. The night was unusually warm and disagreeably humid. She said that Rita Chan and Satoko lived together, right? Hmm? Then it wasn't only Rita Chan, Satoko wasn't there either? Yeah, dude. This is getting serious. Because those two were pretty much uninvolved last time, but. <sighs> can only hope they get there in time. If anything's even bad happening, what if they're just like on a nightly walk or something? I don't know. Realizing what them leaving together really meant caused my thoughts to immediately take a turn for the worse. That can't be. Satoko is. She's got nothing to do with any of this. Even if there was a reason for Rita Chan to disappear, there should be one for Satoko. Hi, Rena. Rena was really fast. She approached me on her bike at an amazing speed. Oh, we got bikes? Has Kichi ever ridden a bike? I feel like he has, but I can't pinpoint when he did. Her breath was ragged, painting a clear picture of just how hurriedly she'd been going. Oh, Rena. So, go there. Oh. Look at that face, though. Watashi. Rena's expression was all business. Was she mad? It came out of the blue and I faltered for a moment. <laughs> what was that tone? Rena shouted, clearly angry. I've never seen Rena like this before. What do you know? Rena seemed to notice she was staring me, took a couple of deep breaths, then continued as if admonishing me, but her expression didn't soften at all. Softened a little. Kei-chi-kun. <laughs> じゃあ、もっと用心しなくちゃダメだよ。こんな夜中にたった一人でこんなところで突っ立ってるなんて、不用心にも程があるんだから。True, I guess. I began to understand where Rena's anger was coming from. ご家族にはちゃんと私とリカちゃんの家に行くって伝えたよね。なあ。万が一、私とケイチ君が揃って失踪しちゃうようなことがあっても。Rena was perfectly level headed in this emergency situation. Ever since the night of the Watanagashi, every night someone had died or disappeared. Has it really been nightly? It's only been, what, two nights? Or like last night, then this night would be the second night. <laughs> On the night itself, Tatano san and Tomotaki san met strange ends. On the next night, the elder vanished. Okay. Now, on the next night after that, Rita Chan and Satoko were nowhere to be found, maybe? Question mark. I hadn't been thinking of anyone but myself, but. It wasn't enough to say that Hina Mizawa was a little weird at the moment. It was, in fact, extremely strange. When I had even anticipated our own disappearances and told me to tell my family where I was going, I was embarrassed at my own carelessness. And the need to be embarrassed made me afraid of the night. Sorry. 
With Rana beside me, I wheeled back towards my house. Oh, a feeder side my boy. Cool. Ooh, smooth transition. <laughs> the moon seemed strangely high in the sky. A sky that was uselessly vast and cold. So no matter what, it would never seem to me like a dream. This cruel fat had already confronted me. On such a crazy night, Rana had been unimaginably dependable. Hinomizawa's metamorphosis. Enough to make Rena caution against me. Enough to make Rena caution me against carelessness was to me the most fearsome thing of all. The moon seemed strangely high in the sky. Hey, it's Mion. We met up with Mion on the way, and of course she was unsure whether to believe me about Rita-chan or Ensotoko's disappearance. Kei-chan, honki de itten no? Moshi jodan datara. Mian was clearly displeased. If this were a joke, it wasn't very funny. Yeah, I don't think Mian's doing it. Or at least if she, if the Sonozaki are, she isn't involved. It has to be something else, right? It just doesn't really make sense. Uh, who would it be, though? <sighs> Sorry, I'm just stretching. Still kind of tired. <laughs> Ever since the day before yesterday, someone had either died or vanished every night. Rita Chen and Satoko disappearing after all that was something you couldn't even couldn't say even in jest. Nita, <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I, I keep saying Ren is more scummy, but I don't think it's her just being scummy. I think it's just the fact that she's so much more self-aware and seems like not as much of, a, of an airhead, which makes me keep calling her scummy, but you can definitely see the difference between her character and the first volume. Like, I would be super shocked if like the Ren from that volume would say anything like... Like this at all, like being this self aware. It's kind of crazy. So I guess that doesn't really make her scummy. I guess this is probably just the true Rena. And the last one is just, uh, I don't know, a mask. Funny thing. That was a cute line, though. I like it, Rena. Meon. You know, I think I like every. I think. My like for like most characters have gone up this episode. Like I like Mion a lot more. And I like Reno a bit more. I guess Satoko hasn't really changed because we don't get too much real development with her. Actually we've just been pretty neutral too, but that's good. Getting getting uh <laughs> liking characters more is always good, right? Hopefully we'll get that same sort of development next volume with them too. Just assuming that they're, uh, they might, because there's a chance they might not be in this volume anymore, which is horrible to say, but. It's right. The Rika and Satoko Protect Squad coming in. <laughs> Having been warned about about that by Rena, Mia gave a dry smile, the tension she felt loosening a bit. She mounted her bicycle as well. Our three bicycles' lights flashed down the pitch black roads. There was some of the only illumination outside. It's a nice shot of the moon. Uh, it's so sketchy to talk about that. I want a shot of the moon. That's a really nice shot, huh? I appreciate the shot. Mian asked me the same thing I had trouble explaining to Rena. <laughs> It kind of is a premonition, so it's fine. I can't quite tell because it was dark, but I thought I could see Mion smiling very ambiguously. I think she does. She definitely knows that we did it, but again, I don't think this is the Sonazaki's at all. I definitely understood that she wasn't convinced, though, despite the darkness. Kei-chan, when I saw a bad dream, I saw a bad dream. 
それでリカちゃんがさらわれる夢を見たわけかないやそのもっと漠然とした予感みたいなものだよリカちゃんが電話に出てくれたならレナやミオにも続けて電話するつもりだったよ Lies smoothly babbled out of my mouth, made shift though they were deep. There's no point of lying, KG. Everyone can read you. They can read you over the phone, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I still think something's weird with that, but is there even a point of lying to these people? Who are like either super. Probably a combination of KG. If it's not something weird, it's KG being like super unable to lie and then being super perspective at the same time. It's a little ridiculous. <laughs> I was lying because I thought telling them I was connected to Xi'an would be like silently admitting we st we'd stolen into the ritual storehouse together that night. We'd stolen into the ritual storehouse that night. That's a. <laughs> that's not a good sentence. You had to impress me any further. I don't know whether that convinced her. Or maybe she figured that. Making sure we could turn into Toto were safe would be faster than making an issue out of it. Probably that. Just don't mention Xion's name ever, dude. Around me on. Just definitely not in the mood for it. I felt relieved and immediately a little guilty. Neon hadn't really been acting any differently these last few days, but I'm still trying to distance myself from her for some reason. Well, both Rita and Xion said to, uh, Kind of distanced herself a bit until at least until she calms down, so it's not completely unwarranted, especially if Rika said it too. If, if it was just from Xion, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't really trust her that much. <laughs> it was only because of what I heard from Xion and Uishi Sen that she was the successor to come some kind of super extravagant gain family. No, was I just trying to force myself to forget? Don't do that, KG, my bro. Wasn't it, wasn't it Mion who was the first to ask about the night of the watch in Adashi? Such a harsh tone at that. Have I already forgotten the terror I felt? At that time, Mion looked like someone different from the Mion I knew. When I think about that Mion, then Shiana and Uishi said descriptions of Mion made a tiny bit more sense. That's it, isn't it? If it wasn't for how she acted that day, then I wouldn't be feeling this way towards her now. What on earth was going on with her back then? I was conveniently thinking only of everything she had done after that. While disregarding the very first thing, the thing I should have been looking at most, wasn't I? Mian was pedaling her bicycle in front of me, her long hair fluttering in the wind. No matter how long I looked at her back, it never gave me answers to any of my questions. We went all the way to the stone steps leading up to the shrine grounds. Of course we weren't gonna haul our bites up there, so we parked them beside the staircase instead. Hopefully this doesn't end up in a weird situation where the police show up and then they think we have something to do with it. What do you mean, Keiji? Did we not have the watch in Adashi at the Furute Shrine? Maybe we didn't. I thought we did it pretty near, but maybe not. So the entire shrine is private property. Oops. It really makes you feel the passage of time. 10 or 20 years ago, it would have looked the exact same. If it would have been a long time ago, it would have been a long time ago. It would have been a long time ago. Rena said something clearly disquieting, so I ran over to her. What if they went somewhere? Although I guess it is weird for 10 year olds to be out at, like, I guess it's past 11 now. I turned to look around. Indeed, there's no other bicycle aside from the ones we take into net here. Seems a little pointed. Just as she said, I can't imagine Rita Chan and Satoto, uh, Satoto lugging their bites all the way up here there. 
We hadn't yet knocked on Rita Chan's door, but reality was already sparking some ideas that weren't what you'd call good. Maybe they were just parked under some trees and we hadn't noticed them. I refused to believe that not being able to find their bites was proof that they had disappeared. Yeah, I think that's a little hasty, but... Squad up. We all nodded and dashed up the stone steps. I'm getting nervous, too. We passed through the red arch and came onto the shrine grounds, which was covered in a neat gravel. Okay, I guess we haven't been up to the food shrine. Where is the festival, then? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the storage house with the ritual implements were in the fruit shrine, right? So it had to happen nearby. I just guess it wasn't directly on the fruit shrine. It's so... Oh, I'm so dumb, bro. It was so quiet. So the watch in the Drashi Festival had never happened. Bro, I should probably read what's on the screen before making comments, huh? So it doesn't happen here. Dude, serious Rana looks weird for some reason. I think it's the eyes. It looks a little spaced out a bit. Rana took the lead and sprinted off. Oh, we've seen this house. Is this his house? No, wait, this is the assembly hall. Rana took the lead and sprinted off. We went towards the assembly hall behind the shrine, then looped around behind it. Ooh, okay. That's her house. Cozy. In the darkness of the night, we found a small prefab two-story shack that looked like a warehouse. Uh, let's break in. Rihanna and Mia neared the shack, which didn't really look like a place people would live. They had such a beautiful shrine, so I figured they live in an equally beautiful house. It was far from what I had expected. Rika-chan! <laughs> Rana shouted up towards the second floor. Her voice was restrained at first, but it suddenly grew louder. No answer. In fact, there wasn't any sort of activity in the house at all. Let's break it. Mia banged on the shutter with both hands and the loud sounds echoed onto into our surroundings. They would have to notice this much noise. They would turn on the light in their room, fling open the windows, and yell, What time do you think it is? No! Rika and Satoko, dude. Though I didn't think this would happen. Yikes, that however wasn't happening. There's absolutely no response. We had stopped slamming our fists onto the shutters, and a sudden silence fell over us. The silence aroused terrible thoughts in us. I could feel the blood draining from my face. Break it, bro. I mean, you can probably break the window open with something. I mean, there's a bunch of tools on the side of the shed, then open the locks like that. Also, there's a ladder, so maybe you can climb up to the window. The, the ladder looks short, but... Rana showed no signs of stopping. It didn't look like she wanted to admit they weren't there until we went inside and saw for ourselves. I mean, yeah, that's probably a good idea, because maybe they aren't missing, but dead, which would suck. <laughs> that refusal to give in gave me strength. Mm -hmm. Yo, ladder. Hey, they used my idea. Mian brought over a ladder that was standing against the house. The footing was a little unstable for me to be climbing it, but Mian held the ladder firmly in place for me. 
Dude, let's send up Neon or someone, bro. I feel like Katri's the most unreliable person in a situation to go up. But I guess we need to see POV spooky breaking into your house. <laughs> I didn't climb too many ladders. My inexperience with them exposed. I climbed up one step at a time and I tried to... I tried to open each window on the second floor. Renna darted away. What? A main house?両親が亡くなって以来、ずっと放置してあるそうだけど。あ、そうか。リカちゃんのご両親で亡くなってるんだよな。At I feel like they actually mentioned that to Keiichi, but he just kind of didn't process it. Satoshite, I remembered. He was the one who disappeared last year because of the curse. Oh. By themselves? They're so young, though. I would understand if they're a little bit older, but aren't they like 10? Slash 11, 12? a little young for this. Oh, that's so cute. God damn. The curtains were drawn, so I couldn't get a good look inside to see, but two young girls living together seemed like a pretty tough life. Yo. Don't hit me with the feels before this, dude. This was tense and they're switching it to the feels. <laughs> this sounds pretty good to you, huh? I had no idea. I feel really bad for them. They were normally so cheerful at school that I never realized an atom of this. Yeah, dude. Oh, so Oh, so that voice, that tone was really weird. Suddenly, Mian said something in such a low voice that sounded like she was really cursing someone, and I didn't let her slide. I turned back around on the ladder to face her and asked her again. Mion, still holding on to the ladder, brought her head up to look me in the eyes. As soon as our eyes met, an absolute zero zone of energy surged throughout my body. Oh no, I thought it was just the spooky eyes, not the red eyes that they showed when she was angry. Mion's eyes clouded over, and with them boiled and bubbled, a stew of chaos. They whirled around and around like a raging sea, and bubbles floated to the surface. I had at some point been trapped on this ladder, like being tortured on a dead end street. I intended to follow that up with, you're going too far with this joke and give her a forced smile. However, on such an uneven footing as I was, the only thing that came out of my mouth was a horse groan as I desperately struggled to not let nausea overwhelm me. Hey, don't bully Satoko. <laughs> Mion answers with a response to something I never asked, as if replying to somebody else's question. Oh well. We know her parents were douchebags. Also, we knew she was there. I didn't actually realize she was also there. Guess that made sense, right? Really? Ew. I didn't know it was that bad. Dude, what's with her parents, her relatives treating her bad? 
あの子の誕生日に突然消えてしまったあの子をいじめていなかったのに消されてしまった警察は家出したんだって決めつけたけどサトシ君は逃げ出すような人じゃなかったいつも一生懸命誰の力も借りずにコツコツと一人懸命に努力する人だったたった一人の妹のために身を粉にして頑張ってたのに消されてしまったあの子のためにだけに生きていたのに消されてしまったかわいそうなサトシ君なんて報われないサトシ君なんて追い知らずなあの子なのあの子は呪われた子 So this is like not me on, right? <laughs> this is obviously it's some other personality. I don't know what that means. Maybe it is the curse. My explanation kind of for the curse was that the murders were done by people and the curse was、uh, a taboo being broken in the villages and fixed so people are starting to become possessed. Is this a possessed neon? Because again, this is like way, way too bit of a U turn for her to randomly start、uh, going off like this. That was really good. I appreciate that voice acting. Mian was mumbling words over and over that there are no longer coherent. Her shoulders were trembling so hard that I could feel it through the ladder. I almost lost my footing, which made me realize just how far away the ground really was. Maybe she's not the best. That does kind of seem more like a mental breakdown sort of thing. I wasn't sure if she heard me. Mian rocked back and forth, and the rocking that tre and trembling was becoming even more violent. <laughs> Help me. The ladder. It it's falling. Help me. Help. Rena! Just then I heard the sound of many people running towards us. Oh, it's the police. It's a popo. I heard and very nearly said, Help me out, right? Four or five adults, led by Rena, ran over here with flashlights.、Uh, maybe not the police. Yo, next time, send me on alone. That was a little too spoopy. <laughs> well, that can't be natural, dude. There's no way. If anything's. Supernatural、It、has to be these personality changes to the. Doesn't make sense. Domo, Madomo, Tojimari, a can't take it as a chance to recover like that. Well, I guess I wouldn't know. But, I mean, I don't really have an expert opinion, but it's just too odd. <laughs> Komateta. When I heard Mia talking like nothing had just happened, I felt. I then felt a chill run through me. Oops. Yo, you want to confront her about it? <laughs> I feel like that's just the option. Well, maybe it's not the best option, but it would help me, <laughs> help me figure out stuff, anyways. <laughs> the person currently holding the ladder in place. It was definitely Mion. The real, it was the real Mion Sonazaki. Then, the person muttering to themselves. Just a few seconds ago, who was that? The person who was mumbling about terrible things like curses. Who was that? I jumped down from the ladder as if running away before Mion turned into that person who wasn't Mion a second time. The adults tried a few different keys on a key ring as they tried to open the bid shutter on the first floor. So that's like some adults are probably living on the grounds, anyways, which is, which made sense. Rika chan no ie wa ne, moto moto wa chokai no bonsai soko datta no. Dakara shutter no kagi wo. Mian gave me a smile as she said that. 
I, however, could only return her gaze with an aghast expression. Yun was acting all too normal now, but that only contrasted all the more sharply with her earlier on me on like creepiness. This is not the time to confront her, huh? Bang, bam, clatter, 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 bang. The shutter opened up for the first time in a very long while. Rona located the light switch and wasted no time going inside. I followed her in. We climbed up a narrow staircase. It had looked like nothing more than a warehouse, but now that I was inside, I could feel how lived in it was. It was a person's home. Somehow the scent of the two of them filled the place. It was This was definitely where Rika Chen and Satoko lived. Please just be missing and don't randomly open something and find two dead bodies. Because <laughs> I'm kind of getting that feeling. <laughs> the, the first floor doubled as a town assembly warehouse, but the second floor was a space entirely for living. Just like a one person apartment past the kitchen was a living room, taking up about 150 square feet. Dressers, cupboards, and the like were packed into the space and the corner where there was a huge pile of clothes that appeared to have just been taken in from drying outside. In the center of the living room was a fold-up table, and on it were small containers for things like soy sauce and salad dressing. The sense of a frugal lifestyle drifted from all of it. It was strange that they weren't here in the middle of the night like this. The adults climbing the stairs one at a time began to make a fuss and talk, so, talk amongst themselves. No. Okay, no surprise bodies. That's that's a start. Just just because they're disappeared doesn't mean they're dead. Remember that. The village had just been thrown into chaos yesterday because of the mayor's disappearance. Yeah, they're not gonna like Rita Chama's disappearance. I don't know about Satoko. I mean, I care about Satoko, but Rita's definitely the big big star of the village, right? Then today, even Rita Chen and Satoko had. Were they out playing somewhere together? That can't be. Their bicycles aren't here, though. Where would they have gone so late at night? Have they just not come back yet? Where did they go? Adams put forth various possibilities. I mean, it's weird that their bites are gone. Maybe it is possible that, you know, how Rita said, sh said she would protect Keiichi, she went off somewhere try to fix the situation and Satoko being her bestie also came to help Rika. But again, we don't know. Eventually Mia settled them down. I don't know, I don't know. I don't faces paled at Mia's declaration. Mine Renners did as well. Tatoiba Gokinjo Nite Ochadamo Gotsoni Nate Nemuchate Okosuni Okosana Kunate Nante Kanosemo Mochiron Arione Sono Kanosemo Mazuzo Makino Sawa Uratekara Savano Atarino Yeo Mawatikasa Tetaro Sawa Ojagaiki no Ho Okamura Sawa Mian probably gave directions to the villagers. Nados followed them without hesitation, despite her age. Got it. Nados all roared in reply and pounded back down the stairs below. Well, if anything, also from that weird uh, rant by Mian, it kind of proves that it wasn't her who did it. <laughs> Because then she wouldn't believe that Satoko's curse hit them. Because I don't think Satoko's cursed. And if it is, even if she was, it seemed it only affected like people who abused her. And I really doubt Rita abused her. That would have been 
a twist that I would not want to see. Mian <laughs> grinned proudly, took the receiver, and got started. And I gave Mian a trusting look considering her dependable for doing all this. My feelings, though, were a little more complicated since her leadership seemed to be affirming the Sonozaki family's successor, impression that Shiana and Uishi san had given me. Stop right there, Kichi, my bro. None of that matters right now. Yeah, why would that even matter? The most important thing is to make sure Rika chan and Satoko are safe. Let's see, couldn't there be a clue hinted at where they might have gone somewhere in this room? If we tore the whole place apart and figured out what was different from before, we might be able to speculate, but... There's nothing strange about this room. There are no clues in sight. In the first place, I had never been here before. There's no way for me to know what was different if I didn't know how the room usually looked. Hey, don't give up, Keiji, my bra. Stop thinking and start looking for something. In search of something, I tried pulling open the dresser drawers and open the windows. I didn't uncover anything meaningful, though. Rena, also unable to stand around doing nothing, was looking around the room like I was. <laughs> Maybe she's looking for clues, KG. Come on, bro. How dense. <laughs> uh, was she actually looking for them? <laughs> As we were searching, it got noisy outside. Villagers were quickly assembling here, having heard the commotion. Of course, a lot of them were probably people Mion had called. I... Bro, why is Oishi's police squad so late? I thought it would be like rushing over here. Mia began descending the stairs, and we followed her out to the front of the house. There were already around 10 adults there, and all of them looked uneasy. I suddenly noticed that the old people from the shrine were here as well, and they were praying for Rika Chan's safety, rubbing their prayer beads. This had gotten bad. This wasn't just a problem between friends anymore. The villagers all, all formed a ring around Mian, swarming her. Mian raised her right hand, as though silently telling them to calm down. It would definitely be hard for someone to wake up Rita Chan if she had eaten a good full meal and fallen asleep like it's hidden afterwards. Oh, how nice it would be if that were the case. もちろん Mian's face grew remarkably more grim, and a wave of silence washed over the adults. With that as a signal, the adults scattered in every direction. I figured I should scatter somewhere as well, so I started walking unsteadily in a direction no one else had gone in. <laughs> I was getting farther and farther from people. I didn't feel scared or anything though. Is this a new tune? I think it is. I don't remember it. If someone were to disappear, she and I should be first. It would have been perfectly normal for me to be scared of the dark. However, I didn't feel that way. Why was that? It was because tonight, someone had already disappeared. So nobody else would disappear tonight. It would take some time before I, as as it was, would feel guilt 
and the tugs of my own selfish sense of release. Relief. Chapter, bitch. Right on time. <laughs> 55 minutes? Not bad. <sighs> Whoa! Oh, I wanna use that. Well, that's kind of a bait, huh? We'll use the moon probably as a thumbnail, if I remember. Because I need to go out to... Anyways, um, thank you for watching. This was a really good episode. We got the Mion monologue was pretty good. The whole searching for Rika was also pretty fun. Um, I guess we'll see if we can find her next time. Um, I'm guessing we probably won't. But let's hope they're alright. Hopefully <laughs> Rika and Satoko aren't dead. But I have a bad feeling about it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey, guys. For some reason, I can't press the save button. Maybe it's because of the background. So I'm just... Well, first I should take a thumbnail, I guess, if we're reading. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to continue a bit and see if we can fix the background. I guess this means the upload will be late, which kind of sucks, but... Yeah, I can't save for some reason. See? Watch this. It's impossible. It doesn't save. We can load, but we can't save. So let me continue on a bit. I kind of skipped. Suddenly, the, this hill was the hill from which you could see the whole village. Looking down from this hill, I could see lights on here and there. I knew that the entire village had awoken from its slumber. First Takano-san and Tomotaki-san, and then the mayor. And now even Rita-chan and and Sat Satoko had been sacrificed, and the word of it was spreading everywhere. The strength in my knees left me. This could no longer be a joke. We could have found them. Mian would have told me that I was a worry rat. Rena would just be glad we did, and they would have smiled at me. My hopes disappeared as if I were awakening from a dream. That was the view I could, s I could see was telling me. Following my knees, my arms both bent forward went forward onto the ground, and then I clawed it with my nails. I couldn't figure out if I was feeling sorrow or frustration. <laughs> I couldn't endure the burden of my own sin, and I had just told Rika-chan about it. They had nothing to do with it, but Rika-chan and even Satoko had been sacrificed. It was like a cross that Shin and I would have to each bear the weight of until we ourselves were a race. Well, if I'm going that far, then the problem started long before that. My original sin of breaking taboo and entering the ritual storehouse without asking. I knew I shouldn't have gone in there from the start. Yet, I lost out to cheap curiosity. I hadn't felt so angry at myself until this very moment. There was a crunching sound. I wasn't even interested in who made the sound. Did I want Hopefully it's not broken. I don't understand why. <laughs> Yee, someone's walking. It's gonna be me on, right? Oh, it's fine now. Okay. It should be able to save now, right? Yeah, okay. So it was just that scene. Sorry for that little, uh... Little blurb. Little add-on. But I was kind of worried I was broken. But, good to know it wasn't. I guess it's because of the scrolling uh, background. Because it, it would probably have to load it up again, which was kind of awkward. But anyways, for real, this is uh, goodbye. We get a little bonus of Keiichi being angry at himself. Which is like, kind of justified and at the same time, not really. It's like, how would he know that multiple people would disappear because of his actions? Anyways, yeah, for real, the sign bye.